I'm gonna tell you 10 different ways to make money on YouTube without having to rely on ads. And it doesn't matter if you're a big channel or a small channel, if you don't wanna rely on ads, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. And we're starting right now. Okay, the first thing that I wanna say is that you clicked on this video because you're wanting to learn how to make money from your channel. So do not sell yourself short by clicking away. Make sure that you watch this entire video because there's something in this list for you. And as we're getting into this, I want you to think of YouTube, instead of thinking of it as an ad platform, I want you to think of YouTube simply as nothing more than a traffic source. If you can make that change in the way that you're thinking about YouTube, it's going to make a humongous difference on how you approach everything it is that you're doing on your channel. Okay, so the very first way to make money on YouTube without relying on ads is to set up a blogger website. When you do that, that is going to give you the ability to send people from YouTube to your blog or website where you can make money from ads or you can make money from other things that are on this list. I want you to think of your website as a very valuable resource. And as we're going through this entire list, I want you to think about how you could apply some of the things in this list to your website so that you can amplify what it is that you're doing over there as well. And the great thing about having a website is they don't have all of the requirements that you have on YouTube. On YouTube, you gotta have 4,000 hours of watch time or you have to have a thousand subscribers or whatever. On your own website, you do not have those requirements that you have to or those hurdles that you have to jump through in order to monetize your website. So using YouTube as the traffic source that's going to send people over to your website where you can monetize the viewers there, that is a way to win without having to rely on ads. The second thing that you can do, which is extremely popular all over YouTube, it's extremely popular all over the internet in general, I mean, it's kind of what makes the internet work, is affiliate marketing. So basically with affiliate marketing, how that works is you set up with companies. Let's say Amazon as an example, because it's the easiest. You set up an account with Amazon and then if you send somebody to Amazon, if they click on one of your links, they go to Amazon and they actually buy something, then you will get a commission of that sale. On Amazon specifically, you don't even have to sell anything that they directly clicked on to look at. So if you're sending them there for camera equipment and they're buying diapers, you're still gonna get a commission of those diapers within the first 24 hours of them clicking on your link, which is pretty awesome. Now, if you are going to do any type of affiliate marketing from your YouTube channel or your website, I'll put a link at the top of the screen that will take you to another video where I talk about some dangers and some disclosure information that you need to make sure that you're doing in order to make sure that you're compliant with YouTube. And this also applies to your website as well. Okay, the next one on the list here is if you are a live streamer, if you're interested in getting into live streaming, or if you just wanna set up a link where people can actually donate directly to you and what it is that you're doing, streamlabs.com actually offers a way that you can do that. So if you're live streaming, you put a link in your description, somebody can click on it and they can pay via PayPal or via credit card to donate to whatever your cause happens to be. And the really cool thing about that is you don't have to have any monetization enabled on YouTube. You don't have to have your AdSense on, you don't have to have the ability to accept super chats because it's all done on the Streamlabs end and YouTube doesn't have anything to do with it. So even if you fall under those requirements, you can still make a few extra bucks by using Streamlabs. Number four, if you create any type of creative content, you can sell digital products, even not necessarily creative content. If you make content to where you can create some type of digital product that you can sell from it, then you can sell digital products. That can be, you know, a template pack. That can be a Photoshop PSD. That can be Lightroom presets. It can be anything like that, but you can set up a store. I'll actually put a link in the description to Selfie um, to where you do not have to have a website. You can use them and through them, they have the shopping cart thing set up to where you can send people directly from your YouTube channel to your Selfie page. And on your Selfie page, it's going to allow you you to take payments from people to where you can sell any type of digital product that you can create. Number five, if you have knowledge in your brain, if you have a certain skill set that you think people would be willing to pay for in terms of the information that you can share with them, you can create a course. Now with creating a course, there's usually some you know upfront money that you're gonna have to put out and you're gonna have to put out some upfront time, but the return on courses can be huge. I have a handful of friends that make a ton of money off of courses. So if you have information like that in your brain that you think other people would pay for, then definitely courses are a fantastic way for you to make money off of your YouTube channel. I'm actually working on a course myself. Number six, merchandise. You can set this up through Spreadshirt.com. You can set this up through Teespring. You can set this up through Amazon Merch. Basically, the idea is that you create designs. You upload those designs to one of those sites, and then you can send your YouTube viewers to those sites. And then if they make a purchase, then you, of course, get a commission for that purchase. Now, here's the thing. If you do like an Amazon Merch account, you can make an entire store that's not necessarily 
necessarily branding just your channel, but it can be targeting your main demographic of people. Same thing with all of these sites. Instead of making it to where you're just trying to promote your own brand, you can make it to where you're basically putting together a bunch of different items that people that are interested in your topics would be interested in wearing. As an example, again, on the Photoshop tutorial thing, you know, in your particular store, you could have something like, you know, Photoshoppers do it better, or, you know, something like that, just as an idea off the top of my head. The next one on the list, even though there is some work involved in this one also, you're gonna have to send out a bunch of emails or contact a bunch of people on LinkedIn or contact local businesses or whatever, but you find companies that are in line with the type of content that you're making and you try to get sponsorships, full channel sponsorships, or you try to, at the very least, get sponsored videos on your channel. That's another great way to make money without ads. The next way is through Patreon or other crowdfunding type of places to where you can put additional content or show some more about your life or some behind the scenes stuff or something like that and get people that are watching your YouTube videos to head over there and support whatever it is that you're doing over there. Of course, this all works better if you are offering something good in return instead of just setting up like a donation page, but depending on you know how you structure everything and what your plan is and what you're trying to accomplish and what you can give them and the type of content you make and all that stuff, Patreon and other services like it can be extremely helpful for making money without having to rely on ads. The next one on this list is services. If you have a particular skill set that you are very good at, you can offer those services off of your YouTube channel. Let's say as an example, you are a photographer making videos about photography so that you can show your skills so that you can use that as your own personal portfolio is a fantastic way to generate more work for yourself and you can also build courses around it and you can also build digital downloads around it and so on to where you can really have a lot of assets in terms of all of the different things around your channel that helps keep it all propped up in terms of monetization without having to rely on ads. You might be watching this right now and you might be thinking, hey, you know, I don't have any skills that I can offer. There's something and if you don't have a particular skill or you don't think that you have a particular skill, then maybe it's time if you really want to make money from what it is that you're doing on YouTube, maybe it's time that you spend some time developing a skill so that sometime in the very near future, you can offer that as a service as well. Another one on this list, and I actually have a bonus one after this, but another one on this list, number 10, is using a service like Uscreen or another type of subscription service to where you can send people from your YouTube channel to get exclusive content. Now, you can use a service like them for membership stuff. You can use it to actually put just exclusive content, stuff that you're not putting on your YouTube channel by itself, but you know, like a regular series or something like that where you can send people directly from your channel to sign Sign up there so that you can collect a monthly recurring stream of income from your Uscreen channel or another service that's similar to them. Next up on this list is if you can create, this one's gonna take money up front, but if you can create a physical product, I actually have one that I'm working on right now as well, but if you can create a physical product that would be a fantastic fit for the people that are watching your videos, you do not have to have a ton of viewers in order to make a really good additional side income off of, or even a full-time, a full-blown business off of a physical product in order to get money off of your YouTube channel without ads. Like as an example, let's say that you have a YouTube channel where you are showing character costumes from different movies, different TV series and things like that. I'm talking to you, Heidi. One thing that you could do or you could create or you could have made is you could say, okay, well, they wear these particular types of accessories, be it bags or jewelry or something like that in these particular films or videos that I'm covering. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an Etsy store and in that Etsy store, I'm going to make or have made the particular types of things that people are wearing in the videos that I'm sharing so that people that are watching my videos because they're interested in this stuff, they can head over to my Etsy store, see all of the different things that I have available for all the different characters that they like and so on. And then maybe you can generate some sales that way. If you have more ideas of ways that people can make money without relying on ads from their YouTube videos, let me know in the comments down below to help other people that are gonna watch this video. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.